Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 22, part 16 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we delivered our last loads of chocolate into the exposition grounds, and with production of white wine taking place over in Strasbourg in Germany, we'll be almost done with this particular campaign mission. There's 69 loads of white wine, white wine waiting to be picked up. Although this train supposed to be carrying glass somehow did not pick it up. Ugh. Seems like some of the commodities my trains have been picking up aren't basically registered in the game for some reason. I don't know why every time I save this game and restart it for every episode, my vehicles do not have those commodities on board them. The only thing that doesn't affect it is the passenger trains. Like, this train is only carrying... It's carrying nothing, but it should be light bulbs. <sighs> Whatever the case is, in this episode, hopefully, we'll finally get the last loads of commodities delivered to Paris for the exposition. And, at the same time, we're also transporting our first loads of steel and lumber to be taken by ship across the channel to England, on where a machine factory will process the steel and lumber into machinery and bring it back over here to England, to France. We already have one train waiting patiently for the loads of machinery to be taken over to Paris, on where it will be delivered to the industrial district. Hmm, let's see. Ah, here's the white wine train now, with three units on board. Magen Convoy A4 has to get out of the way for, well, the other wagons to come in to pick up their commodities. Let's see. 220,000 francs. That's a pretty good amount of money. Albeit, very small. But, however, I just need to at least deliver 197 more units to complete this mission. Though, I'll need more glass. Hopefully, I could just simply turn this train around, place a temporary switch, and then just get this train to travel on the other line and head back to the glass factory. Which, thankfully, there's glass already waiting to be picked up at the glass factory here. But it needs more sandstone. And this train of potash is empty for some reason. Oh, then, no. Let's see. Train B1. 275 units. Well, it's gonna get there eventually. But it will... But with that sandstone being used in the glass production, it will soon be enough to basically finish my particular master plan of basically making every country impressed on my transportation services. Because the only country left to impress, it's Switzerland. Once Switzerland is impressed with our loads of white wine, then I believe it will basically be, again, the final mission. Well, the final part of the mission, to be precise. However, in the previous episode, our chocolate factory actually was booming pretty well. And we have reached over 1 billion francs in cash. According to our HQ, we are 38 company score. Though we did make nearly 70, nearly 80 mil- Oh, we already made 80 million francs in the last 12 months. We have over 121 lines. However, most of these lines come by rail. Though we do have a good number of wagon routes, trolleys, and some shipping routes. Alright, let's have a look around a little bit more. There's plenty of lumber waiting to be picked up, as there's a lot of logs being produced to make lumber, and, and the logging camp is basically 
ready to fill up with another load of logs. All thanks to this logging train. It's traveling up the line now. Light bulbs are being produced. There's plenty of glass, cotton, and coal. Glass, mm, the light bulbs are also being exported to Britain. There's tons of cocoa beans and tons of sugar. Actually, I might as well change it to 100%. I need to have plenty of storage for every commodity I have available. Our cotton train is basically doing pretty well. I mean, it's not making a profit, but most of the profits I made, oh, nearly 10 million francs. Though our clothing factory needs more cotton, but at least our clothing is traveling to various different locations across the map. Though, Joel and Strasbourg have no clothing, but I'm only focusing on the white wine this time around. What the? How come is it going this way? Uh... Um... What? How is it going this way? Wait, if it goes that way, then it will go from this tunnel, go through this way. I mean, the only way to get through this is going on this loop. Unless, oh, I think it probably might go around on that loop instead. Alright. This train will have to go back to the original way it came. Let's see, where is it now? Okay, it's on this track right here. If I could just do it like this. Alright, you can easily will switch over back to the main, to the other track. And it will just head to Strasbourg, and then we'll just head back up the line towards the glass factory. Not what I was expecting, but... Yeah, sometimes the train, the paths finding for many of my vehicles is kind of odd. We'll get rid of this. Ooh, that does not look pretty. I better fix that. It's going to affect traffic, but... There we go. That looks a lot better. Yep. Looks a lot better than it did. Alright. The train will just travel towards the glass... We'll travel back up to Strasbourg, turn around, and return back to the glass factory. There's already 474 units of glass waiting to be picked up on my wagon convoys to be taken to the white wine, to the red wine factory. There's already 16 units of glass waiting to be picked up for the white wine factory. Thankfully, my train of sandstone is nearly there. Hmm. Well, that sandstone mine is doing good. I could basically connect this one near Mola House and basically loop it onto here and bring it into Verdun that way. Because it is producing a hundred units. Alright. Let's basically make one more extension of the railway. Of course, I'll have to basically lower the station platform to get level with the roadway here. Lift it up. And 
must start construction. Let's see. Snap it straight. Start coming down. Cross over, we'll cross under this road. Take a right. Actually, build this right here. And then basically spur, spur off of this branch, off of the iron ore branch. Build a tunnel. Build, take a right. Natural gradient down. And then do that. This will mean I'll have to add a new signal to this branch. But if it's able to deliver the loads of glass, help with the glass deliveries, I'm up for it. Though so I'll have to set up another set of signals on this branch as well. As well as a brand new whistle post. This will mean, for the first time, we now have a train B3. Let's see. Let's put it on track two. Full load, 10 minutes, blue, and this will basically be, let's see, where is line one? Ah, this will be freight, train, B3, sand, stone, and this one is coming from the Mole House Sandstone Mine. Wait, hold on. Where is it? Oh. Oh. H. H. T. There we go. All I have to do is just copy the train from B1 and put it on to B3. It will pick up the loads of sandstone and just drop it off. Simple as that. As now, the sandstone quarry in your mole house is starting to basically get active. I might as well also edit the terrain a little to make it a little more smoother. Let's see. Thirty-five units of glass, so far. And production and shipment is starting to go up. Soon enough, there'll be plenty of glass to be brought over to the white wine factory. As the wineries require two loads of grapes, of the particular grape to be made into the processed wine, and one unit of the glass to make two units of white wine product. It shouldn't be too long from now before we'll have plenty of white wine to take. But just to be sure, I'm just going to make this train wait entirely until it's fully loaded. Sure, it's not convenient, but I'd rather try something like that instead of waiting endlessly for the loads to arrive. 
wait for to get me on a train that isn't fully loaded. All the while, the machines of lumber my ships of lumber and steel are waiting for departure once another load of steel and lumber arrive at the port in Calais. Fortunately, the lumber mill is basically humming, and there's a lot of lumber waiting to be picked up. And there's a lot of logs waiting to be picked up at the logging camp as well. With my with train X nearly having a full load. Still haven't figured out why there is no cattle being shipped to this butchery. Maybe it doesn't want to be transported by rail? I'm not so sure. If that's the case, I'll just laugh. Alright. Three units of white wine delivered. 197 to go. Let's see. That's 41 units so far. The steel mill is humming, and there's over 146 units of steel waiting for pickup. Now, let's actually have a quick look at some of our equipment and see how much money we've been making so far. Alright. Least profitable is coal train A1 from, coal, from the Lily Coal Mine to the Glassworks. The most profitable is train B2 from San with the sandstone hay for the construction materials plant. Most profitable passenger service is express train A, which is the first express train I started off when I first began this mission. Especially since with these in channel ferries now operating, I could at least be able to transport passengers across the ocean. Although these services are. Although Channel Ferry A is not making as much money, Channel Ferry B, however, is making a load of money. Probably because it's a faster connection between Calais and Dover. As I found out, this is how the French would pronounce Dover, is Dovers. Fish Factory is nearly at 200 shipments, though the loads to Chalmont is not being shown as 100% transport. However, the fish train to Chalmont has basically delivered a full load of fish before. And there's a lot of construction materials going to Lily. Let's see, where are some of my trains carrying lumber and steel? This one is basically nearing Nancy, as it has to go through Verdun first. Nope, not the fish station, this one. And this train that's supposed to pick up lumber is basically nearly approaching the lumber mill. Okay, let's see. 228 units of light bulbs ready to be exported to England. That is a high amount. But there is over 148 units of light bulbs that need to be brought into REMS too. REMS is actually growing pretty well. With 45, nearly half, with basically nearly half of this, or more than half of this Fulfillment required. Uh, light bulbs delivered to the town. A fi there's a 50% increase of residents, though the, the emissions is not that good. According to our terminals, the most passengers are waiting for is for the express trains. Which, by this time, Express Train D e has arrived to pick up passengers for its, des for its final destination, that being the city of Calais, for those who are ready to capture to catch a boat bound for the coast, bound for Britain. Let's see. The Mulhouse Quarry is nearly full to the brim. 
this train is heading directly to Mole House. The steel mill has 169 units of steel being produced. The coal mine of Searsbrook is basically going at full blast. And this train has basically nearly has half of its train fully loaded with coal. All it just needs is just a little more glass and it will produce a lot more units. Speed of which. This train has 50 units of glass on board. Let's see. Hmm. Well, we could basically send this train on its way right now. But it's surprising, really, that in a short amount of time, I was able to be. I had a debt over 500 million francs. But, somehow, one way or another, I was able to earn enough money to not only restart some of my services, but also start new ones with a huge influx of cash. And according to my uh, finances, I have been making much more money than I have in the last few times. Few times I've been playing this map. Though I did make over 270, 217 million francs from selling my vehicles. Though I did get a debt of 204, that was because I had to purchase new vehicles to replace the aging ones. But I did every particular event since then, I've been making mostly a huge profit. My value is at 1.64 billion francs. I have 1.20 billion francs in my company's bank account. I'm happy to say that this has basically become quite a successful enterprise. Okay. Glass is still needed there. The train of glass has left the factory and it will make its way up the line to deliver its load. And hopefully, with more sandstone being brought in, more glass will be made. And, the glass factory now has reached level 3, so it will start producing more glass, though the consumption of its, of its supplies will greatly increase as well. Alright, the steel train is heading, heading towards the steel mill. It needs more coal to produce more steel. So, I'll have to turn this train around to deliver that load of coal to the steel mill. The train of white wine is still waiting to be loaded. But the glass train is still making its way up. Although I could deliver steel and lumber to the Metz machine factory and deliver it into Paris, I thought it would be useful to try and just to operate into a service located in another country. Cargo should be supposed to pick up food. This one's supposed to be picking up light bulbs, I believe. Yep, it still ha the light bulb train hasn't arrived yet, but it's still loading up down at well. Dijon. But soon enough, it will be on its way. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the, some of the other balances. Wagon Convoy G hasn't been making any money because it's the glass service. It's taking a while to get the glass to the wet red wine factory. But the most profitable is Service H. That delivering grapes from this grape bar vine this grape vineyard near Strasbourg to the white wine winery. And my most profitable carriage service is carriage service B, which is located here in Rennes. I want to check that. Most profitable trolley service is still trolley route A1. Which is look is actually in A1 that's serving Paris. And again, the most profitable train being the coal mine tr is coal train A1. And ex 
most profitable passenger train is Express Train A. Though my other local trains have been making a profit, but some of my freight trains, not so much. Hmm. I believe 50 units of glass would be just what we need to finish up this contract. Once there's enough glass in the, in the winery, white wine will start being produced again. And hopefully, I'll get over 197 units to basically supply France. Well, Paris, basically. I'll need more coal at this steel mill, and my train only has 182 units of steel on board. My coal train is over the Mets viaduct. My train of potash is filling up at the Nancy Potash Mine. Train U has a full load of iron ore. And train B3 is nearing the junction that will lead towards the Millhouse Sandstone Quarry. Let's see. The light bulb train at, for REMS is still being loaded. There is no glass available for producing more light bulbs. Because that train for Dijon has left already. Well, actually, it's still loading. Nearly with 280 units. This factory needs more sandstone. Although this train is filling up with a little more sandstone, most of the sandstone is being used for the construction materials planned in Paris. And with our glass train now finally arriving into Strasbourg, I think we can basically call this an episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!